Hi there. I wanted to visualize parallel transport of a vector on the surface of a sphere. Now it's pretty obvious on a plane that if you parallel transport a vector, if you parallel transport a tangent vector along a line, the only kind of line it'll work with is a straight line. And we call that a geodesic. Um, and uh, so I wanted to try parallel transporting a vector. I've got two vectors actually around um, the um, line of latitude, which is uh, 33 degrees north from the equator, which is 57 degrees from the pole. Um, and so we got one vector, which is pretty much parallel to the line of latitude and the other, which is uh, at right angles to the line of latitude. And uh, you, can, you can work out the parallel transport equation, which tells you what happens to the vectors as they move, as they're parallel transported along this line. And here's what's happened. Here is what's happened. Here we are. Oh, wait a minute. What we're doing is we are, and we go back to the beginning, uh, what we are doing is we are viewing these um, vectors from the um, from sort of directly overhead. So we are seeing a sort of plain view, sort of like nearly a plane here. And um, so we can sort of judge the angles between the vectors and the um, and the angles between the vectors and the line that are being parallel transported on. Um, and um, and as they get parallel transported round, we will move round directly overhead them at, at the same time, so we can continue to judge that angle. All right, off we go. Um, and uh, now <coughs> it's sort of quite peculiar because um, these um, <coughs> they they look very parallel. To that line, that one is not staying parallel to that line, and that one's not staying at right angles. They're both sort of rotating around. This is because we're on a surface of a sphere, not on a plane. And uh, but <coughs> the length of these <coughs> two vectors is staying about the same, and the angle between them <coughs> is staying about the same. And um, if you look at the parallel transport equation, that's exactly what should happen. Now, <coughs> if we uh, go back um, to the beginning again and um, go to, <coughs> to go around the equator, the equator is the only line. Whoops! I'm doing what's happening there. <laughs> the equator is <coughs> the only. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. The equator is the only. <coughs> excuse me. Is the only line of lat of latitude which is a geodesic. So here we are on the equator, and once again, red vector two is parallel to the equator, and orange vector one is roughly a right angle. And now we start again, and here we can see the um, tangent vector, which is uh, the red one staying exactly on the line that's because it's a geodesic and the vector at right angles is uh staying at it's almost at right angles is staying at exactly the same angle rock steady so not only are the angle between the vector vectors um constant and the length of the vectors is constant but the um vectors are staying at the same angle to the line, which is a geodesic. Thanks very much.